friends. So I'm going to do a tool review and I'm going to throw a twist in and this is also for my fellow home inspectors. So what I've never said on my channel is uh, I got my home inspector license last year so I'm a Texas professional real estate inspector and um, this is mostly a tool review and I'm not giving any plumbing, structural or other advice as part of this video. So if you have a plumbing problem you need to consult a licensed, qualified, and insured plumber. So, let's move on to the camera. So, I picked up a camera from inspectorcameras.com and it is a 30 meter um, push rod. I guess that's the nicest way to put it. And I have it set up. Uh, I'm gonna explore one of the pipes on my own house because I replaced some of the plumbing, but I didn't replace all of it. And I'm really curious how it goes around my pool. I think it's jacked up. It drains, but I want to know what I'm dealing with. And that's one of the reasons to get a sewer scope when you have a home inspection. Or if you have a plumbing problem, call a plumber, call a home inspector, and have them run a sewer scope so you can see what you're dealing with. So anyway, it has an SD card, an LED, record, take a picture, in flip the flip the image some other stuff it comes with a keyboard that lets you put in where you're working and then there's a menu it's a really nice little camera these are about twenty seven hundred twenty eight hundred dollars um you know that's not bad the rigid one is stupid expensive uh, the, the rigid one is like seven or eight thousand dollars for a sea snake and i'm pretty sure they buy the parts in the same place so what I liked about this is it has an integrated battery. It's small. This is easy to take on a roof if that's where my pipe access is because as a home inspector, I can't take plumbing fixtures apart, but I can remove a clean out cap to gain access for an inspection. So anyway, we're gonna remove that clean out cap. And by the way, this is my house, so I don't have to be, yeah, that's, that's not the right one. It's got a pair of pliers, got that loose. We're gonna go ahead and take this cap off, set it there. That's going to be our access. I don't need to run water in this because I've, I've already been playing with this a little bit. So it's really as simple as pull the camera out and, oh, you know what? I need to change to a larger standoff. Um, so this is a standoff that keeps the camera out of the muck and the water. And so what I want to do right now is change that. So I'll be, let me adjust my camera. that are very hard to see that point towards the front.
for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe i'll put some useful links in the description